Where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. What? Should you... <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. So in the last episode, we did that little flashback of Cloud and we saw what happened with Nibelheim and the whole thing with Sephiroth. But Tifa confided in Aerith and telling her that he was never there. At least to her knowledge, she wasn't being trotted around with Sephiroth and Cloud. It was Sephiroth and Zack, but Cloud was the little soldier in the helmet and Tifa had no idea. But she has no recollection of him being there, hanging out with Sephiroth or anything like that. And it's starting to worry her a little bit. And then also Cloud's losing it because he's trying, starting to think, is this real? Sephiroth messing with his mind saying like, is Tifa actually alive? So we'll see what happens next. All right, we're on chapter two, a new journey begins. I still can't believe how low these beds are. <laughs> <laughs> They're like super low to the ground. No one woke him up? Okay, um, search for friends. Alright, I'll see if I can find them. Oh. Is that a money this purse? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. What does that mean? Queen's blood? Starter deck? Oh, it's card game! Oh, okay. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects... Of course, I'm going to blame on them. ...and has begun investigations into the matter. Okay. So, yeah, that's their scapegoat. Blame the, the activists, because, you know... Why not? <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hi. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Okay. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. <laughs> Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Okay. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Folios? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more into this um, game than last. Finally. Oh, hey. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutch in that lab. Was nothing. Yeah. Even so, I owe you a debt. Until it's paid, I'm going to accompany you. No, that's fine. I'm I'm totally on board with this. Red Thirteen joining our party. I love this. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. <laughs> sure thing. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. No problem. Hmm. The rook's got a backbone. Mm-hmm. He always had. Okay, so this is a new thing that they added. If we do, like, quests for our party members, we gain a bond with them. And, like, considering I'm currently playing, like, a Dragon Infinite Wealth, I can't help but think this is the same thing. Because <laughs> they also do that, too. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff I have to do. What the? Okay, we're just going to go to the closest one. <gasps> Barrett! Look who it is. 
You up already? Drinking already? No, sir. What are you doing here then, Zabar? Seventh heavens, back up and run. Oh. First one's on me, not uh, first one will taste good. First one will taste good. Damn straight. Should I have said I bought him a- I don't know. I don't know if that's like rude or something. <laughs> Alright, if I see party members, yeah, I'm gonna talk to them. I wanna bond with them more. Now I'm wondering where the girls are. Cause like, we're gonna have to look for everybody. I wanna talk to all of them. Oh, hey, Tifa! Speaking of the girls. Morning. Hey, you okay? Morning. This is awkward. Everyone's kinda off doing their own thing. I noticed. This is awkward. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Like the water tower? The water tower in Nibelheim? <laughs> Looks kind of like the water tower in Nibelheim. Right? Weird to think how much it meant to me back then. Yeah. When I was still there. Okay. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. Please don't say that. That means something terrible is going to happen. Where's Aerith? I feel like she would be near flowers or something. What's Red doing? I take it our equipment is in order. Oh my what bad, doing, right. I, I have to go get the equipment Standing too. Watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. I can't blame him. I knew I could, I'm not gonna say good, but I feel like that's rude. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I feel like that's very rude for him. Flattery will get you nowhere. Would you rather I say good boy? <laughs> but I feel like he's a lot more paranoid because like what he's been through, you know, being an experiment. For Shinra, I really don't blame him for like being on guard all the time. I still don't know where Aerith is. Where is she? Okay, okay. I want to talk about this little dog over here. So I couldn't for the life of me figure this out when we first saw the bag of potato chips at the end of remake when it came out four years ago. And I was thinking I'm like, there has to be a reason why they were showing that. When I look at that dog during Zack's part, it looks different. Like, the, the way that it's drawn is different compared to how it is now. So I think that's how you can indicate, like, it's a different timeline. When it's a little more, like, cutesy looking, it's Zack's timeline. But when it looks more like a normal dog, it's Cloud's timeline. Does that make any sense? Because, like, we saw that, too. If you go back to part one of my Let's Play, when they were going back, back into the city, you could see like a billboard of it, but the, the design of the dog is different. So I think that's how you can tell. Here's a shop. Welcome. Hi. Damn. I don't want to get everything that is until quite the weapon you got there, mister. Oh, thanks, sir. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. Oh, there she is. Oh my god, I finally uh -huh. found her. Finally decided to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. Mm-hmm. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you, but if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Whoa, hello. Um, sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Okay, for- awesome. Oh my god, I- I don't know my idea. who I'm okay. gonna make Cloud be with. I don't know if it tower, matters, okay? story-wise, but- I'm- because I'm more of like, I ship Aerith with Zack because I believe they like belong together. That's just my opinion. And I ship- uh, Cloud and Tifa together with the original game. But like ever since I played the remake, I'm falling more for Aerith with Cloud. Like they're so adorable and I can't tell if it's just because you know, Cloud is like mimicking Zack at the moment and he doesn't know that. Cloud and Aerith use magic together. Mm. How interesting. Okay, so I got that. What else do I have to do? Is that it? Just go to the clock tower with um, Aerith? A date with- Jesus! And it's called a date?! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, we're going on a date with Aerith! Oh my god! <laughs> Dang, that's a big-ass clock tower. Okay. Let's get started then, shall we? Yeah, y oh, okay. Yep, she's just going in like that. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, I'm coming. Please, please wait for me. Damn, she runs fast. What the hell? <laughs> How convenient. Nobody's here. I think Midgar's this away. Okay. Be, yeah. Funny, isn't oh it? Oh my god. How small it looks. I know. So far away. It is far away. <laughs> Cloud. 
So <laughs> don't be an ass. Between you and Tifa. Uh oh. Um. Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. Yeah, they are. <sighs> she say something. She did. Not about you two. No. Just you in general being Still, weird. I can tell. I think I've given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. I hmm. Don't take her for granted. Of course not. What the hell? Oh god, who's this? Shinra works pretty quick. It's just like nuts like how they know we're here already, you know what I mean? But I guess like it would be easier for them to find us because we're walking on foot and they have all these helicopters and vehicles. They're looking for us, aren't they? Yes. Gotta be. Okay, Earth. Let's go. Oh, crap. Girl, I really wish you wouldn't run so fast. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, we can just jump? Oh, sick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is not good. Alright, they're gonna start shooting innocent people because, like... Not saying that they would, but it, it happens. Hello? Oh, this man said he used to work for Shinra, remember? There isn't much time. We need to get back to the inn. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. Okay. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Come on. Let's trust this guy. I, I kind of trust him. Like, he's he, he, he's been with um, Shinra before. And usually people who leave the company, they know, like, what they're about and what's happened. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back. Oh, <laughs> you. Seen anyone Bye, see you later. You know what's funny? Cloud has a big buster sword. Like, you figure that out. <laughs> kind of give him away. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgard. That was you, wasn't it? Maybe. I'm not saying anything. On your side. Got a contact at HQ. You were with Avalanche? Not exactly. Wait, huh? Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Okay. All right, here we go. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you okay. seen anyone suspicious? No, 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 no one's suspicious. Come on, Aerith! <laughs> so perhaps it was just my imagination. Who was it? Oh, for the love of... Get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time. You figured they would want more information, but these guys are terrible. You, you don't think the, the, the helicopters or whatever the hell can see us from up here? There's like people sneaking on the roof? <laughs> Dude, don't wave! Don't wave! Please don't wave! I see you! You don't need to do that! <laughs> Aerith, you're behind me, right? Okay, thank god. <laughs> Thanks, Broden. Where's everybody else? Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. Down below. Oh. The tunnel nice. in the will take you outside of town. <laughs> Leave now, and they won't catch you. Thanks. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. 
Also. Friend. Wait. Which friend? <laughs> it's a what? transmuter. Okay. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. This guy's way too nice. Say thank you, Cloud! Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. <laughs> so before I change my mind, you better get going. He's definitely somebody who has dealt with, like, Mako poisoning. You know? He has to be. The way that he reacted here and then in the last episode, too. Um, sure, let's do the tutorial. But the way that he's reacting, I, I definitely think he's somebody who, who who's dealt with that. Transmuter. I just think of, like, Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to get used to all this crafting, like, systems in, in this game. Oh, there they are! Oh, you made it! All in one piece? Mm-hmm. Sorry we're late! <laughs> For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Should you... <laughs> that Don't make me feel way. bad! Things calm down. Don't make me feel bad! Oh no. This is so awkward. Got that? Yes. <laughs> now, let's move. Oh no! Oh no, Tifa! No! Cause again, like I said, I, I think I think Cloud and Aerith are really cute together, and it's just oh man, oh god. Okay, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta hurry. Wow, it's really pretty. Grasslands. Just look at it all. I think it's this was so like green. part two of the demo, which again, I haven't played uh, before this, so I'm just gonna assume that's what it is. Oh, it is pretty. A living, breathing planet. <laughs> Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. Yep, it has willpower. It look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Hmm. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Oh. Mm, for starters. Sorry, I just love that everyone's being so nice to her. <laughs> Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Yeah, true. I mean, like, where else left, can we go at the left, moment? Go left, right. Oh shit. <sighs> I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. That sucks. Guess not. I really wanted to explore like the city or town. I guess we're Let's not going to be able to. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. Hey, she's just so cute. The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right. <laughs> Follow me. All right. Let's get this show on the road, people. All right, let's go. Just your party. Oh, right. I have to pick my party members. Woo! I got to decide who's going to be like 
in the party at the moment. Oh no, I really don't know who to pick. Okay, would it be kind of funny if I just did like Aerith and Tifa? <laughs> like if I just did this? <laughs> would that be weird? Orc. Okay, Aerith. Coming. Aerith is a little bit different. I want her to help, so hang on. Soul drain. Sorry. All right, so I guess the others are still fighting in the background. It's just like you can't control them in the party. I guess that's how that works now. Uh, should we be worried about those things? What things? How what the so the deer? Different? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt. Or right. In defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. That's true. Like these guys. Alright, let me do Tifa, because Tifa is good at. Let's see what she can do. There we go. You would be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. Okay. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. By the swamp? Okay. Oh, a dog. Can I pet this dog? <laughs> oh, hello? Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Bill? Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call me. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. Listen, I don't I don't blame them. Bill, They're pretty. And you can count on me for a lift anytime. <laughs> okay, cool. Except can we have another is, lift? Oh, never mind. Pulled up lane. Sorry about that. Damn it, cuz we have to We're walk so far. Thanks, though. You uh know some place we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> you all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I mean, I yeah, we were told about that. Sir, here. I'm not here to, like, ro romance anybody, damn it! <laughs> I can't even choose who I want to romance. That's the problem. <laughs> so I guess um, since I have Aerith and Tifa in my party right now, does that mean I can't really level up um, Baron and Red 13 because they're not exactly fighting with me, right? Oh, is this it? The abandoned docks. Okay. Yeah, this looks really abandoned. <laughs> no sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Yeah, but then, where do we get a boat from? Through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure, why not? You trust these rotting hulks? <laughs> I mean, we could. I see. I see the thing that says Chocobo Ranch over there. Then maybe we swim it. No, 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 Chocobos. <sighs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. Hello? But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. Yes! We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well? Yes, we yes, chocobos bird? are so cute. Can I love we? them. Fine. <laughs> you can't tell me these two won't end up together. Come on. Maybe Tifa wasn't jealous that Cloud went on a date with Aerith. She was jealous that Aerith went on a date with Cloud. Think about it. <laughs> Alright, let me tag it. Everybody's level 16. So, like, what's the party like? The rest of them. Oh, they're also level 6. So, I guess they do level up with us? I'm confused. Somebody please confirm <laughs> in the comments. I'm gonna switch it out though so that everyone gets a chance to fight. Chocobo Ranch, okay, and we made it. Yay, look at the chocobos! Pleasure to see you all again. 
and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started How a convenient. After, left. after we left, you could have picked us Ooh, up. <laughs> what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by Yes, we need to work fast. Are we ever? Need him to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Um, sure, I guess. Not really. Uh... <laughs> Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Oh, he's over yonder, guys. Okay. Thanks. Howdy. Oh my god. <laughs> His outfit. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. Yeah, you got a bunch These of here right now. Spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Of Which course. Is? Ten grand each. Grand? The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. What's that? Only cost you a grand. I, I don't think I have a grand, do this I? Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Cool. Wait, yeah, just one uh -huh. chocobo, sir? There's we all can't fit the on that. <laughs> bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> You can start by looking for his tracks. It's here. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. Okay. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> Y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. All right, so we just gotta get the chocobo, huh? Yeah, I can do that. Before I steal all your stuff. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> I didn't know he was <laughs> just about break brother. everything like that. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand, I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Oh. Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that guy. Uh, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe. Oh. That's none of these good folks' business. But oh. they can help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Hmm. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Okay. But should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye, 
Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. Damn, I'm gonna so find sure all that to stuff. Them over if you do. Okay. Oh, and you can get stuff for like like equipment for them. Oh, Shinra. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're just destroying this poor man's farm! Bear it! <laughs> Here are some tracks. Look at that. Bingo. <gasps> there it is. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Yeah, you don't want hey, them to run off. You know we're not here to kill him, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't tell me Clyde was thinking about eating the chocobo! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to wrangle Pico, right? How do we get past the other chocobo? I don't want to scare them either. What do I do with you? Are you like- do I talk to you or something? Okay, so I guess- oh, I got- I got it. Those other chocobos will- will alert Pico. Okay, let me get a rock and then we'll throw it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna throw it here. How do I get you? Please calm down, Pico! We're only here to help! Yay! Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> He does look like somebody, doesn't he? You know, they are kind of similar. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? I think so. Sorry, that's all the food we had. But but you please know don't please don't run. Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. I was gonna ask, is he going that way? <laughs> no, come back! See how fast these chocobos are? Wait, can I talk to the si oh damn, I was gonna talk to the sister first oh, to trade. Our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? <laughs> hmm. Huh. What, what's wrong? <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Okay. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea. If we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? Okay. Wait, I still need to talk to your sister. Oh! Hey there. What's this kid's name again? What a pleasant surprise. Chadley! What the hell are you doing here? You do remember me, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the kid who teaches us stuff. Yeah, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Yeah, you're welcome. Your do, you, do you need me to do the same thing again? Create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, okay. the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You want me to do the same thing? You need more battle intel. Mm -hmm. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. Titan? Oh. Oh. Hang on. New summon. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Honey, stop. Oh my god, I look like a freak. <laughs> Chadley Combat Simulator. S 
summon... I want to get I want to get Titan's materia. Yo, Titan! I haven't seen you since Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> okay, and then ooh, you know I'm gonna put Aerith and then Barret. Yes, let's see how this goes. If it, if it means I get more summons, I'm gonna take it. Cause I wonder if I still have to do that for like the others. Round one. Okay. No, get away from her! Are we making any damage with him? I feel like we're not! I'm about to die! Oh, <laughs> oh god. Perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. <gasps> cool, we got a choco whistle. Okay. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Can I talk to your sister? Like, damn, bro, I'm trying to trade these feathers in. <laughs> here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. Sam? But never you mind all that. You I still can't believe Chocobo Sam's like, like an asshole. Is he really? Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay. We call Pico first. Pico! Oh, there he is! <laughs> Alright, let's see how fast I can go. I can get items if I do well. Go! Chocobos are super fast. Come on! 36. Oh! I made it third? Not bad! That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Yes. Might even have what it takes to win a race. We can't thank you enough. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now Wait, why? Now that the cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. She's like, help them, you stupid idiot. <laughs> okay, so I do want to clarify something because um, I know people are going to ask me. If I am able to do a side quest let's say it's like not too far away or anything i will do it but for the sake of this let's play considering i'm also playing another rpg at the same time and also it's kind of hard for me to sit here and record for a really long time while i'm pregnant i am not going to be doing a lot of the side missions J that's just me um, i'm probably going to do just on my own time uh instead so i hope you guys don't mind that but like i said if there's something like really important yeah i'll check it out for the playthrough but We'll just head over to where we need to go. All right, we're back on the dock, so I believe we can just go in the water, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. This should be fun, right? I'm sure there's no giant serpent that's going to attack us. So, we sure this is safe? No. <laughs> of the bog are damn near bottomless. Plus, there's that giant man-eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. <laughs> he goes like, yeah, I'm listening. I feel like we're gonna fight a giant serpent. There has to be a boss battle for that because like, why would they show us that? You know what I mean? I'm scared now. Who the hell's that? Over there. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> Is it? 
No, they don't see they don't see Sephiroth though, right? No, they just see a hooded figure. Come on. Oh no, reunion. Here we go again. Hold on, Sephiroth, can you wait a second? There's a chest over here. <laughs> Let me dismount. Hello? I don't see Do you? No. I don't. Poor Cloud. Hello? Oh, wait, do I have to go on here? Oh, my bad. Okay. Well, that was interesting. No reaction from that guy. But again, it's the, like the Mako poisoning and all that, right? He's probably gonna see Sephiroth more often then. If that's the first case of it. Oh god, what is that? Is that dry land I see? No, what is that Let's in the go. water? Y'all blind? It's the serpent! <laughs> yeah, I don't blame the chocobo. I I don't I don't I don't blame them. I knew it! I knew we were gonna fight this thing! Great! A snake! Great! This is exactly what I want right now. <laughs> oh, come on! Why does it look like- Damn, what the f- well, I'm almost dead, bro! Hold on! What the hell? Why am I almost dead? Okay, I, 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 I gotta- I gotta- Oh! Get him. Cut. Okay, Aerith, you need to back off, my girl. I didn't realize, like, freaking... Oh, no. I don't have prey right now. God damn. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm kind of rusty. Is it obvious? Because I haven't played Final Fantasy VII in like four years. <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus Christ. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, not myself! I meant Aerith! Oh, we're gonna die out here. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody watching. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I should evade, dude. That's what I should do. There we go. Dude, <laughs> class dead! <laughs> Oh my god, this is awful. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm <laughs> so rusty. <laughs> Did it just get colder? What am I supposed to do? Woo! I'm strong and carry on. Here we go. There we go. I can't believe I just survived that. Wait, wait, I got my limit. I got my limit break. <laughs> what the hell is this fight? Oh my god, this fight's awful. I'm sorry, everybody. It is it is pretty funny, though. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty hilarious to me. Where is it? I can't lock on. Where the is it? Oh god, come on. Not again. Cloud's dead. Nice. You know what? Summon. Shiva, help! Shiva, help! <laughs> this, this fight is horrible. Help! I'm really surprised I'm not dead yet. Like, everybody in the party's not dead, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was the worst fight I've done. Holy crap, dude. I'm sorry, everybody. Maybe it's also because I picked, I picked like, a wrong team to do this, but... 
Shiva came in clutch. I'm really surprised they didn't kill me. I really thought it was gonna kill me. Cloud. No. Is he dead? Cloud? Oh great, we're in the water. Seriously, it's taking us. What do we do? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Sephiroth, are you gonna come save me? What the hell is that? Oh, it is. It is him. It is him. He's like a one wing angel. <laughs> what is going on? Is that actually Sephiroth or somebody else? Jesus Christ. I wakey wakey. You remember who I am? <laughs> Aerith. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. No one saw Sephiroth, huh? Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Yeah, there's more of them there. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose them. Dude, I got to level up more. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end that episode there. Um, I'm probably just going to go off camera and like fight a little bit more so that I can level them up a tiny bit more than like just the bare minimum because clearly that's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so uh cloud is still seeing sephiroth everywhere he goes and obviously it has to deal with the hooded figures and the whole thing with like reunion and everything like that but um i do wonder what everyone else is thinking because they clearly can tell like there's something wrong with cloud like he's seeing things that are not actually there um so we'll see where we leave off into the next episode because those hooded figures are looking for Sephiroth too, so um, that can only be bad things, I'm just going to assume. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit, hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!